Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to quickly be looking at project settings in Natron and how to export your project in either a video or image format. So in the last video, we animated a rectangle. If you're following along, I'm going to quickly go over how to do that again. So we just go to create a node, uh, a draw node of a rectangle. Make sure it's attached to our viewer by just dragging and dropping to the viewer. And then we have this node. So if you remember, we resized it. I'm just going to move it to the top left hand corner here. And I'm going to set a keyframe. So we go set keyframe all. We'll move to frame 50. And then we'll move that frame down or this rectangle down right to the middle of the screen. And that creates just a nice little animation, if we go back, uh, of moving this slowly down to the center box. Um, if we look over here on our project settings, we see that our, our video project is 1920 by 1080, so HD 1080p video, uh, or size. It could just be a, we could just export just a still image from this, doesn't have to be a video. And then the frames we have is from 1 to 250. But if our project ends at frame 50, so maybe we'll just change this, just double click and type in 50. And so we'll change that project to be ending at frame 50. So now, see it's changed. So we have frame 1 is our first frame, 50 is our last frame. And now it'll just go down slowly to the middle and then restart and loop over and over. If we click this button, we can see it in reverse what it looks like. Um, back to frame 1, this is our project. So now, how do we export this? How do we get this out? Well, if you hit File, like Save Project, it's just going to save the project file, which isn't a bad thing to do. In fact, let's just do that. So it's going to save on my desktop by default. The file type is NTP. It's a Natron project file. So you can call it whatever. I'll call it My Video. Hit Enter. So now I've saved that on my desktop. It's right here. My Video. It's a Natron project file. And if we open it up, it's going to be it's going to have all the information for this Natron project, what nodes we're using, what settings we're using with that node. But what it, it's not going to let us do is like email this to someone and be like, hey, check out this cool animation I made, unless they want to import it into Natron and watch it on their viewer. Oops, sorry. Um, then that's not going to work. You can't upload a Natron file to YouTube or like use it. You know, we what, what we want to do is create a video out of this animation. I think you understand what I'm getting at. So to do that, we need to create what's called a write node. So right now, everything for our project is just getting piped into this viewer. We need to pipe it into a write node. So click up here in the left uh, under the under the right uh, under the uh, what are these nodes called? I think they're called write nodes. Oh, image nodes. And then we click write. So this is going to bring up a box first thing, and it says where do you want to save it to? So we'll say sure. We'll save it to desktop. I'll call it my video dot mp4 and that automatically changes the file type to mp4 if we call it dot mov it'll change to dot mov if we call it dot jpg it changes the file type so you want to make sure you have the correct file type for your thing i'll call it my video dot mp4 and then uh, oh okay and then we've got i think yours might by default this probably comes up as sequence which means what it's going to do is save a series of 50 frames every frame of your project will get saved as an individual picture and that's not what you probably want you probably want it to be a file so make sure this says file make sure this says absolute and make sure it's you have dot mp4 at the end if you don't have it called dot mp4 it you can still play it but it's just good to have it be dot mp4 so hit save so here we go then it creates this uh node here so we have our viewer node and we have our write node so you might just see this over here and ha say, oh, okay, hit, hit render. But we have a problem. Uh-oh, it's not going to render. It failed. And the reason is there's nothing to render. This is not tied into our nodes at all. So we're still seeing it. But what we need to do, we can either break this and we can just draw to our, to our right node instead. So you see we're not seeing anything up here, which is okay. But instead of displaying to our viewer, we are displaying to the right node. And then if we click right, if we click render, then it's actually going to render out this animation. Uh, so it's 100% done. It went to our desktop. So if we click and see, we can see my video. And here it is. So that's it. I can loop it over and over again, watch full screen. This is a render of the animation we made. So if yours didn't work out, make sure you did those things uh, that I talked about. Make sure under here that uh, it is under um 
that it's a file and not a sequence of images. Um, you could also you can also say this. So like, let's go over some of the options you have under the properties of this right node. Oh, first of all, the progress here. If you go back to your node graph, you can see the different. Uh, you can see the nodes, and then the progress is just here. And these tabs can be moved around separately, and so you can drag it and move it up here if you want to see it over here with your properties. Um, you've got curve editor, dope sheet, and so we'll just close the. Uh, we'll just close that progress there. Go back to the node graph. Um, some of the other settings that we have. So. Let's say instead of doing the project frame range, it's rendering all of them. Let's say we only want to do a certain amount. So we can change this to manual and we can say start at frame 10 and only go till frame 44 and just render those frames. So now if we hit render, it'll do it. It should bring up our progress tab again. And now that's done rendering. So now if we go into this video, it's just going to be shorter. So it doesn't look much different, but it, it is. It's not clear up in the top left corner it's not going clear to the center because we're only rendering certain frames uh, if we go back into here um, under our project settings actually so I'm gonna come back and unlink it from the the right by just like dragging and like clicking that line off to nowhere and then I'm gonna click here onto the viewer and so we see this we're gonna go back to frame one if we change from 24 frames per second under the project settings so not under the right node not under the rectangle settings but under the project settings we double click that we can change this to 60 frames per second and what that's going to do is play this much faster so now it's a lot faster a lot smoother because every second it's flashing 60 frames in front of our eyes instead of 24 frames another common setting for this is like 30 frames per second so this is going to be half the speed but it's still nice and smooth the default it was was 24 that's what we've been rendering it out at so if we change, let's just change this to 60 though, and let's um, render this. So we'll change it back to project frame range, and we'll click render. Oh, failed. So how come it failed? Well, let's go back to our node graph and take a look. We were trying to render, but there was nothing connected to our right node. So we're just on the viewer, which is great. We can view and see what's happening. What you can actually do, you can actually have both of these connected at the same time. So now we can see it on our viewer and it's going to the right node at the same time. So now if we render, we should be able to render this out and take a look at the video, 100% finished. Let's go to our desktop and play it. And there you have it. So we have this, hmm, you know, is that really 60 frames per second? I, I have my doubts. In fact, in VLC player, which is what I'm using. And if you can't play this back, make sure you have VLC installed. If you do a Google search for VLC player, you can download and install this on Windows, Linux, and Mac. Um, it'll Sometimes the default player in Windows or on Mac won't be able to play back your video files. So VLC is a good thing to install to do that. But in VLC, there's an option under uh, Tools. Go to Media Information. It tells you the, media, the information about this. So this is 24 FPS. Well, what the heck? We want it to be... Uh, where is it saving that to? I told it I told it to be 60 frames per second. What's going on? So let's go back here and see why it didn't render out at 60 FPS. Aha! Look at this. So even though our project is is under 60 frames per second, we're only writing at 24 frames per second. So you have to make sure that you check those settings. And I screwed up there. So now if we say 60 frames per second on our project, so we're writing it out. We're saying our project is a 60 FPS project, and we're writing it out at 60 frames per second. So now if we render, it'll render this out, we minimize this, and watch, and now it should be smooth and fast. See how it's a lot smoother and faster than it was before? Because we're rendering it at 60 frames per second now. So just make sure you always check those settings. We have, we have settings we have the 60 frames per second that we're viewing. We can view in a certain FPS, we can write in a certain FPS, and we can actually have our project be a certain FPS. And when you start importing video clips to work with, they're going to have their own frames. They might have been shot in 30 frames per second. So there's a lot of different ways you can adjust, um, but just make sure you understand that. Um, and also, with these nodes, if we go back to the node graph, Sometimes like we have the, the right node up here, so you might be trying to change some of the settings for, for a certain object, 
but the node that you're looking at, the options are just like confusing you. If you double click on the node, it goes to the, it'll come to the top. So if you want to see the right node, double click and it comes up to the first thing. Otherwise, double click this one. You can always scroll down and see the ones below. But um, yeah. Uh, so hopefully that's been kind of informative. Play with some of the different options you have on the right node. I'm trying to think if there's anything else you want to look at. Um, maybe just kind of play around with this and see. Oh, you know what? Let's do. Let's try this just before we're done. Let's go to frame like seven, for example, and let's try and write out a single frame. So now let's change this and let's call it um, test.jpg. So we're going to save a JPEG file of just this frame and we're going to go to manual and we're going to only export frame 7 as the first frame and frame 7 as the last frame okay uh, and so we don't have the frames per second anymore because we're just doing like one frame so we hit render and then we can we go here we have this thing called test and it's an actual image file oh it's going to open it up in GIMP for me but yeah basically we have a single image file now and not an animation so this is just a jpeg file uh all right hopefully that makes sense catch you on the next video